a group of farmers across the United States have just successfully produced the world's first high-value carbon credits at scale. By using carbon farming practices like reducing tillage and planting cover crops, they were able to improve soil fertility, increase yields, and earn additional income by sequestering additional carbon dioxide in their soils. This year, farmers in 16 states produced a new kind of crop, all while solving problems on their farms and creating a new revenue stream. It was just my husband and I farming, and we were farming over a thousand acres, just the two of us. So we struggled with labor. Uh, first of all, capital requirements, tillage equipment and other more tractors, that kind of stuff. It was just unattainable to keep that kind of stuff around. I think for us, it's a conservation of the ground that's been given to us and stewardship. We wanted to um, always leave the ground in better shape than the way we found it. Carbon farming requires a new approach, but for these farmers, the change is worth the reward. We love the results we got. We don't make as many passes on the field. It doesn't take as much fuel. It's easier on the equipment if you're not making so many passes. Yield-wise, we have seen actually an improvement over the conventional till. The leftover corn stalks leave some residue behind and it improves the soil, so. The main result is, is lower overhead on equipment, labor, fuel cost. We're also working to build organic matter in our soil with uh, cereal rye on a cover crop and no-till where we're not disturbing the soil. Carbon credits was a no-brainer. Uh, we can plant in conditions that are less than ideal and still have really pretty remarkable yields. And uh, I would say yield consistency. We uh, typically don't have the dips on a bad weather year that other people would have. This is just the beginning. A growing number of carbon farmers are learning how to cash in on this new crop. The dawn of a new harvest is here. Learn more at indigoag.com slash a new harvest.